Hello, my beautiful Cancers. We are moving on to your mid-October 2020 reading. Again, please remember that this is a general reading. This is not going to apply to every single Cancer, as there's many Cancers out there in the world. Again, if this does not resonate with you, please look at the other videos pertaining to your rising or moon sign. I will give you information whether the news is negative or positive because this is what you need to know, not what you want to know or what you want to hear, I should say that. The first part of this video is going to be a general reading. The second part of this video is going to be a love reading. The general could have to do with money, career, environmental factors, and sometimes the general does pertain to love, depending on what spirit wants me to tell you. Spirit, please tell me what Cancer needs to know for the mid-October 2020 reading. Ace of Wands, that's a very nice card, Cancer. Spirit, let me know what Cancer needs to know for the general information for mid-2020, October. Ooh, that one was fine out. Uh-oh. Another ace. We're looking good, my beautiful Cancers. Looking good. Three of Cups in reverse. Oh. That one wanted to fly out. All right. Eight of wands. All right. I see a lot of fire energy. I see some water and air in here, but you have two aces. I'm looking at, a t to me, Cancer, this is displaying a good time in your life. You're having a lot of fun. The wands are passion. They're fiery energy. Fire signs are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Doesn't mean you're dealing with that, but it could be. You also have victory here in whatever it is that you're doing, my dear Cancer. This could also be related to an air sign. Air signs are Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You have a three of cups here. Now, three of cups is something that's a celebration. It's something that people are enjoying in life. However, when it's in reverse, it says a little bit overindulgence. You might be having a little bit too much fun. You might be over drinking, maybe a little recreational drugs hopefully that's not what you're doing but it looks like you're being a little bit too indulgent when you're having too much fun and you're going at it hard and fast but overall though based on these two aces even though you might be overdoing it overall you're like you're loving life right now you're very passionate but what are you so passionate about what's going good in your life cancer that is cause for all this celebration and all this over partying i'm curious so i'm, so I'm going to clarify I'm going to clarify the Ace of Wands, and I'm going to clarify the Eight of Wands. All right. I'm going to have to do another card for that. I'm not too clear about that, so I'm going to need another card to clarify, okay? That was the Three of Wands I pulled, in case you guys didn't see. All right, see that there? That's the Six of Pentacles, that's a good card, okay? So to me, it looks like you're dealing with money, which you're so happy about. Now, I do wanna clarify, not clarify, but I wanna bring up this Three of Wands. Three of Wands means you're headed out for a journey. You're headed out for excitement, but you're not taking too many risks because you're still holding on to a bit of your current situation, which is why this man is holding on to this wand right here. So you're ready for make, making a journey, but you're kind of playing it safe preparing for the next big adventure. And it looks like the reason that you're enjoying life right now, you see the picture of this man giving the beggar money, being generous and being loving. The reason that all these things are happening for you, Cancer, is that you have been such a good spirit. You have been giving, you have been loving, you have been generous with what you have. You've been, you've been giving to others. And that's why you've been so victorious. That's why the universe or God, however, or whatever you believe in, has been good to you, has blessed you. And that's why you've been partying up, maybe a little bit too hard. I need you to calm down that little bit. It's nothing wrong with celebrating. Just do it in moderation. Okay, Cancer? And the blessings are coming to you fast and hard, Cancer. But I want to know why you're getting blessed. I know it's because you've been generous. But I do want to clarify the Eight of Wands. I just feel like there's a little bit more information that I need. Or that you need, I should say that. Spirit, can you clarify the Eight of Wands for me? So Cancer knows, gets the information that they need to get. Can you clarify 
the Eight of Wands for me. Oop, got a wand to fly out. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight is a slow moving Knight. It is represented by a pentacle. Pentacles do represent finances, but they also represent earth signs. Earth signs are Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. But since it's from reverse and this looks more like a money reading, the reason it's coming at you so hard and fast is because God, the universe has said, you have been struggling with money for too long. You've paid your dues. You've paid your generosity, Cancer. It's time for you to get yours now. It's time for you to be blessed over. And that's why you're getting blessed so much right now, Cancer. That's why the universe is blessing you so much. But it is telling me to, even though it, it the God's not telling you not to enjoy your blessings, they want you to, but just be careful not to do it in excess, okay? Don't overspend, don't overdrink, don't do too much of those recreational drugs. Hopefully you're not doing any of that. But overall, Cancer, this is a very good general reading. I'm super, super happy for you. You, you were generous and you're getting it back. You, re you reap what you sow. So good. Wow. Love that reading, Cancer. Love, love, love it. All right. Now we're going to move on to the love portion of this reading. If you guys are enjoying my videos, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. It helps support the channel. You can also support my work by making a donation to one of the links below in my video details. Now remember, when I do tarot readings, I'm not just going to do positive information. I don't tell you what you want to hear. I tell you what you need to know. So I know some tarot readers don't do it because... They're, they're afraid they're going to lose subscribers, they're going to lose viewers, but if we got to give you the message that Spirit wants to give you. Spirit, let me know what Cancer needs to know regarding love, mid-October 2020. Oh, there's that Six of Pentacles again. The first card that did your foundation was the King of Cups in reverse. Next card. The Hierophant in reverse. Oh, that one wanted to come out. Queen of Swords in reverse. Now, King of Cups in reverse. Cups rule emotion. They rule all love. And it looks like here, Cancer, and Cancer, you are a water sign, by the way. Water is represented by the cups. Water signs are Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. This is in reverse. It looks like you or the person who you're dealing with has a lot of love to give. They want to give it so much. But either they're afraid or they feel rejected. They're upside down. I did mention a water sign, but you also could be dealing with an earth sign, which is Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Look at the Six of Pentacles. They look at you as somebody who's giving, somebody who's generous, somebody who is worth meeting, or maybe this is how you feel about them. Remember, these energies are interchangeable. They, this person feels this way about this person. And if you look how the cards are placed, the King of Cups is literally facing the Six of Pentacles. Somebody's not taking the lead, though. If you look at the Hierophant, he's a leader. He's got two people bowing down at him, ready for guidance, ready for wisdom, ready to be led and take charge. Somebody's scared to make a move, though. No one's being a leader here. But there's a lot of love here. A lot of love here. The Queen of Swords is what completes the tarot reading, but the, the Queen of Swords is not the most emotional sign and this could also be an air sign you're dealing with aquarius libra or gemini yes she's regal she's charming she's wise she's intellectual she's regal but she's not the most emotional she's not the most loving sign she's in reverse i'm going to ask spirit to clarify that Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is how this person, how that Six of Pentacles is reacting to the situation. Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Swords for me. 
Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Swords for me. Oop, that one wanted to fly out. Ten of Cups in reverse. I mean, nine of cups in reverse, I apologize. If I make any mistakes in the video, please forgive me. I, I will correct you, and you will obviously see which card that I pull, because I always will hold it to the camera. But this is the nine of cups in reverse. This is somebody who's happy, loving, has a lot of love to give. But when he's reversed, not that he doesn't have a lot of love to give. He does, but not just in this current situation. So Cancer, either... You are rejecting somebody or they're rejecting you. Even though you do have a lot to offer um, love or emotion or maybe it's them that has a lot to offer. Because like I said in your general reading, this represented you in your general reading. So I'm thinking this is more them and not you. I think somebody really, if I had to, it still can apply to you. But to me, based on this reading and the general that I gave before, Somebody really loves you and they're heartbroken over you. And and it's not that you mean to be cold. It's not that you mean to be distant. You are a loving person based on this nine of cups, but you're just not feeling them that way. I really think this is more their energy for you than your energy for them. I really feel that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you do, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Give your girl Jilly some love. Make sure you share my channel, especially if you like these videos so I can keep doing this tarot guys for you. Mwah. I love you. Namaste.